you tell me a little bit about what's, what's going on today with the event? Sure. So, um, childhood cancer is like the leading killer disease-wise of children, and I've been touched by it a few times. So, like four years ago, my best friend's son was diagnosed with leukemia. So three years ago, I did a St. Baldrick's fundraiser here in his honor, and we had also lost um, a child at the church I attended back then. So I did it in his memory and for my son, friend's son, Noah. And then the very next year, I had a student come to me, and she was in the sixth grade, and she said, oh, you shaved your head last year. That's awesome. Would you shave it for me? Because she had leukemia. And I said, sure I will when you're in eighth grade. But um, she died in January of sixth grade. So this is the year that she would have been in eighth grade, so that's why we're doing it this year. Uh, probably, probably the last time I'm doing anybody here. <laughs> So the hair goes to Locks of Love then? Um, I'm going to donate it to Wigs for Kids. You said you've been touched by a couple you know, different instances of this. Um, as, a, as a teacher, how do you deal with this type of situation, you know, especially with middle school aged, aged kids? You know, how do you help um, others, others in, in the school community? So, I don't know. That was probably the hardest thing I've had to do. Mm -hmm. um, so the very last time I saw Catherine, she passed out in my arms in class. And um, so it was really hard for me personally and for my students who were there to witness that. Um, spend some time honoring her, talking like then trying also to reestablish routines and try to get back to this being a kind of a safe place. Um, I still have a picture of her up on my wall. We talk about her sometimes. Her younger brother is a student here now, and he's going to actually cut the first lock of my hair. She said Jim, not Jen. <laughs> and then what do you, um, I guess, what do you think events like like this today um, do to, I guess, sort of help with that, like, process, like, sort of, you know, getting over this kind of loss? So I think a couple of things. I think it gives people a very tangible way of feeling like they've helped. Mm -hmm. um, the research, St. Baldrick's, is wonderful. So much of their money goes into researching for cures for children's cancer specifically. Um, so it gives a very, like I said, a, a very tangible way of being able to do something. Um, and it also gives us a very, I don't know, it, in some ways I think it's going to bring some closure, celebration, and happiness. We're going to try to keep it a fairly upbeat ceremony, even though it's such a tragic event. Um, but it's also going to bring about a lot of cancer awareness. As I've been talking to students over the last month or so, I've had so many students come up to me and say, oh, you know, my neighbor is sick, so she has cancer. Oh, you know, my father had cancer when he was a kid, and they didn't think he was going to live. Or um, three students here at the school have lost a sibling to cancer that have spoken to me. So those are all things that, as we've gone through this process, different people have come up to me and talked to me about that. And I know, oh, six or seven years ago, I think one of the teachers here um, had a young daughter who was also diagnosed with leukemia. So it's just reinforcing, I guess, how big a deal that so many children are diagnosed with cancer. How's the fundraising going? We have raised $2,000 as of this morning. Our, our original goal was $1,000. So, <laughs> took the question right out of my mind. <laughs> and that's going to the St. Baldrick's Foundation? It's going to St. Baldrick's, yes. Okay. Dumb question. How long will it take your hair to grow back? So, this is three years worth of hair. Three, okay, <laughs> right there, okay. I shaved my hair three years ago for St. Baldrick's here at Stevensville, and um, it's actually 12 inches long. It's long enough to donate for a wig in addition to shaving for St. Baldrick's. So, wigs for kids? It's going to wigs for kids. And, um, I'm actually being joined today by uh, Mr. Matthew Ayers, who's the Cub Scout leader for PAC 495. So mm -hmm. PAC 495 has been helping to fundraise. And so he'll be shaving his head here, too. Uh -huh. Well, his hair, not his head. Yeah. <laughs> and my son, George, is 
possibly donating his hair today too. He's, he's not sure. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi. Is this, is this your son George? No, this is my son Nathaniel. Oh. And my daughter Elizabeth. <laughs> and this is my son George. There you go. And here's my son Samuel. <laughs> I have four of them. There's Granny. And one might be bald later on. Yes. <laughs> He's wearing the St. Baldrick shirt. Um, I kind of feel like I know what to expect. Yeah. There's all sorts of emotions, especially because this time it's tied to my student mm -hmm. that I'm doing this in her memory. So the first time you did it, it, it wasn't? It was, um, so the first time I did it, my best friend, her son, had been diagnosed with leukemia. Oh, okay. But he is actually a cancer survivor right now, and he's attending St. John's College. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. So, yes, that's amazing. Um, he was acute high risk, so there was a long time that we weren't sure if he would make it here. Wow. But um, Catherine asked me the year after I cut my hair, if I would cut my hair for her. Yeah. And I said, sure, I'll do it when you're in eighth grade. Um, but she died when she was in sixth grade. Yeah. So this is the year that she would have been in the eighth grade, so I'm keeping my promise to her. Oh, awesome. And I'm so proud we've raised, um, wait, set a goal of $1,000, yeah. and we've raised 2000 That's so cool. And so how did, hey, was it just a school-wide effort, or, or um, what so was kind of the... Basically, um, I've been advertising on Facebook yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> and social that's media, and then we got um, Cub Scout Pack 495 in on the deal. So Cub Master Matthew Ayers will also be shaving his hair today. Oh, sweet. The first time you did it, I mean, obviously two people now, right? You've kind of been really closer and have been invested. Um, and actually, a large number of people. It's yeah. like... It's just amazing. Thinking back, like all the way back to second grade, one of my best friends in second grade had brain cancer. Really? Um, but more recently, so my friend's son had leukemia, and then there was a boy at the church I used to attend who ended up dying of cancer, um, and then Catherine, and then a number of students, actually a number three students have come up to me this year and told me as I've been talking about this that they've also lost a sibling wow. to cancer. And about seven years ago or so, um, we had a teacher here at Stevensville whose young daughter was diagnosed with yeah. leukemia. So it's just, it's everywhere. And right across the street at um, Ken Island Elementary, there's currently a second grader who's fighting cancer. Um, so it's just, it's such a huge part yeah. of our community. I believe the number is one in 285 children are going to be diagnosed with cancer by the time they're 20. By the time they're 20? By the time they're 20. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. You know, um, but the numbers are improving so much. Right. You know, it used to be a death sentence to be diagnosed with cancer, yeah. and now so many of them are living. And now, you know, so there's 12 or 13 subtypes of cancer that attack children. Okay. Um, and so now we're going to try to work on finding cures for some of those other types of cancer that yeah. are still fatal um, and looking at some of those long-term prognoses because a lot of the treatments that are available right now were designed first for adults yeah. and children don't react the same right. way to the, the treatments and of course children have their bodies are still developing so there's long-term effects from the treatments yep. that don't necessarily affect adults because adults bodies are already fully formed right um, so, so the times are a little bit but the research maybe is a little bit behind on yeah, the yeah um, and it, it's so sad only four percent of the federal funding for cancer goes to children's cancers so <laughs> that's why I so feel so so important for um, organizations like St. Baldrick's where the research goes towards children yeah um, so, yeah. That's awesome. Um, so what's next after this? Uh, this is obviously, you know, you've done this twice now. You've raised awareness. You've, you know, raised money also. Are there any other, you know, do you expect to do this again in the future? Or? I don't have any plans on doing this again. I was happy having done it the, the one, one time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but then, you know, Catherine asked me if I would do it, and it seemed like a good idea. Yeah. So I can't say, no, I'll never do it again, right. but I don't necessarily feel like I, I need to do yeah. it again. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but it's not an annual thing. No, definitely not an <laughs> annual thing. I think um, there's a certain shock value to students to see it, and if I were to do it every year, that yeah, it would become, shock, right? yeah. you know... Desensitize. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So what are, what are the kids, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to see it, but what should I expect when, the, uh, when they're all in here? What was it like last time, at least? Well, last time we actually did a combined assembly. Um, 
so we snuck in a secret assembly and the whole school mm -hmm. knew that we mm -hmm. were um, doing the St. Baldrick's fundraiser. Okay. And we, and we organized that in two weeks because um, we had a teacher here who was being deployed to the Middle East. Oh, wow. And so we did a top secret, um, send him off fare thee well yeah. assembly. So that was kind of exciting. Um, emotionally, right. you know, not necessarily so happy, but right. it was yeah, definitely yeah. emotional. Um, the students are going to come in and sit down in the bleachers and hopefully get settled pretty quickly. And then we're going to do some fun spirit raising things. Yeah. Um, Justin is um, Catherine's little brother. Justin or Justin? Justin. Cool. And he's going to cut my first lock of hair. Who, who are you? Matthew Harris. How are you involved with this? Why are you involved with this? I am friends with Jen Burchill and the Cubmaster of Pack 495. Kids cool, cancer bad. <laughs> yeah. So you decided to help her out. Yeah. Excellent. Good morning. We've got a lot of EEI. <laughs> Alright. You all know what we're here for, so the first thing I want to do is I want you to think about something for me. Thanks for quieting down. You guys are awesome. I want you to think about someone that you might know that has had their life affected by cancer. I want you to think of maybe a neighbor or a friend or maybe you have been directly affected by cancer. And if you can think of someone and you have someone in mind, I'd like you to stay in quietly. That's pretty powerful, Stevensville. Most of us are standing. You can sit down. Okay, we are about to begin. First, I want to introduce the participants. First and foremost, Mrs. Jennifer Burchill, who organized, big hat round of applause. She organized this whole thing, Mrs. Virgil. She's shaving all this hair. How long has it been growing? Three years. Three years since she's had it shaved. The next person I'd like to introduce is Mr. Matthew Ayers. He's our local Cub Scout leader of her pack 495. And his troop has been raising money as well. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now, all of these locks are going to be shaved. Beautiful. You look great, by the way. Next person. Are we doing you? No? Okay. No? All right. I have one more person that just signed up about three minutes ago. Mr. Patrick Claiborne is shaving his head. Ms. McGowan? Where's Ms. McGowan? What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you the Stevensville Middle School PFY Theater Club. And you've just been flash mobbed! Thanks. All right. So through Mrs. Burchill's efforts and your efforts, we have raised. Listen, wait for it. Wait for it. We have raised over two thousand dollars as a school. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's awesome. All right. Now, you may notice a lot of the staff members wearing shirts like this. These are the St. Baldrick shirts. And we have a couple of them. We're going to have Miss Schrader. Now, I'm not sure. Do you throw like a, like a, a, a good thrower? I can't say what I was going to say now. Does she throw? There we go. Yeah! How about over here? We're going to have some over here. Wow, Miss 
Schrader. Got quite an honor. Sweet. Let me see if I can throw one all the way up. All the way up. Oh, I'm telling you. All right. One more thing, sir. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just one more thing before we start the shavers of the head. Look. Shh. Thank you. All right. Quiet, please. Thank you. Look, we brought you together today. We are a family. And we wanted to bring the Stevensville family together this morning to recognize and support efforts to get rid of cancer. Now, we all come from different backgrounds. We all believe in different things. But one thing I think we can all agree on is that cancer is a devastating, devastating disease, and we need to get rid of it. Clap if you agree with me on that. Thank you. Thank you. Recently, our family lost a student to cancer. Childhood cancer, Miss Catherine Quispy, and her family is here today to support our efforts. Please give them a round of applause. Take it away, Tyler. We have our four recipients here. In the interest of time, Mr. Pirate, we're going to get going. Absolutely. Ms. Mary Ann Lawson is here, and she's going to do the shave. She says that she qualifies as the fastest shaver on this side of the okay. All right. Now, before we go, before we start, Justin Quispy, we'd like you to be the first honoree. This is Catherine's brother, seventh grader. He's going to cut the first lock of hair. From this Virgil. Don't cover her here. Okay, cover her here. What the heck? Go ahead. Those scissors are awesome. Is that what you're going to use? We'll be here all day. Oh, real scissors. Don't run with those kids. Let the shaving begin. While the shaving is happening, I want to give you a quick couple of statistics, okay? More children are lost to cancer in the U.S. more than any other disease. In fact, more than any other childhood diseases combined. Before they turn 20, about 1 in 285 children in the United States will have cancer. Worldwide, a child is diagnosed with cancer every two minutes. So we've been sitting here for about maybe 20 minutes, 10 children, in the time you've been sitting here, they've been diagnosed with cancer. That's pretty powerful. We're here with an effort to try to raise as much money as we can. So if you guys have any change in your pockets, or you want to bring in some next week, 
You see Miss Burchill, you see Mrs. Davilio, we'll be glad to take it. Shave away. Now, you gotta root these guys out when the shaving starts, especially the two fellas here, the two students. George, you look real happy about this. Patrick, you look terrified. You're going a little pale. Look at him. You can back out. First lock of hair, ladies and gentlemen. St. Baldrick's is a foundation, if you guys want to look it online. Started with three guys, three businessmen got together and said, hey, there's another one. Wow, to keep her like that, that looks really not good. Not good. Not good. I'd shave that sucker right down the middle. Do it. Yeah, baby! Oh. So, these three guys from St. Baldrick's Foundation decided, hey, you know, we're going to raise money. Holy moly. Let's shave our heads. The first year they raised a couple hundred thousand dollars. This year, St. Baldrick's has raised 39 million dollars. 39 million. Miss Virtue, you're looking fantastic. Why don't you just shave half? Oh my goodness, that those work really well. Patrick, can you wait for this or what? Georgie. Georgie, oh man. Wow. Here's some good news. Some good news is, back in, 19, in the 1980s and 90s, if you had childhood cancer, you probably, you knew what was gonna happen. It was inevitable. Today, 90, 90% 90 of children that are diagnosed with cancer get better. They get better, 90%. And that's all because of foundations like St. Baldrick's, look it up, okay? It's all because of them. It's all donating money from you, our community, our family. Wow, let's have a hand. Woo! Nice job. All right, next. Doesn't have to be perfect. She's, you know, she's not. She's a... Wow. You got some dry skin there, Miss Virgil. There was no bugs in there. There was no bugs crawling around, which is good. Oh, boy. Feel so weird. <clears throat> no, just.
go to quick. How's it feel? Exhilarating. <laughs> That's a word. Any advice? Any advice for the new newly shaved? Um, it's awesome, and I'm so looking forward to not having to like wake up and comb my hair. You know, but <laughs> my, yeah, I, I think I'm going to invest in a hat collection this year. <laughs> well, sun sunburns, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be investing in sunscreen and hats. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.